right? <clears throat> yeah. This is, well, I was going to do this free PayPal ago from Lydia. Um, but yeah, just didn't get to it. And then she PayPal me again. I did a load. And then again, and I haven't even gone digging. I've done the one that she said, but... I haven't gone digging because I want to do this. But I just want to do this album. I've been wanting to do this album for ages. And seeing the track list, we do the first five. But I'm really looking forward to showing me how to live. I remember doing that, but can't remember. Um, can't remember it at all. But yeah, we're starting off with Cochise. Which is one of my favourite Chris tunes. Let's go. just a great tune and it makes me die that like it shows you the insecurity of musician the true insecurity of a music well of an artist full stop i'd say but the fact that in chris cornell's book they was all worried about this album 
like the Rage Against the Machine members and Chris. And even because I knew that this was their first single and this was their first kind of their introduction to the world. And just to think, imagine having that song and still not being sure whether it's good. Like, it's just, yeah, mind-blowing to me. Because that is, like I say, still to this day is one of my favourite Chris Cornell. So I think he just sounds great on it. That big scream towards the end, a lot of, like, dirty noise from the guitars and yeah just a great tune great tune but yeah this is the one i'm really looking forward to because i cannot for the life of me think of it i'm gonna know it instantly because we have done it but yeah i completely forgot all about this tune so this is basically like my first time hearing it but yeah show me how to live let's go
All right, I completely did not know that tune. I definitely have done it because I remember the title, but I think I was thinking of The Day I Tried to Live. Or The Day I Tried to Leave. The Day I Tried to Something. This, is that that's Soundgarden, isn't it? That's what I had in my head. I was not expecting that. Because <clears throat> that was, yeah... It boggles my mind even more that they dealt with this album two for two. That is a banger after a banger. And this is why I want to do this album, same as The Temple of the Dog, because I want this album in my life. I want to just be able to, like, put it on and let it play without having to run to the uh, phone every time I... It comes on a tune, I don't know. But yeah, that was a tune. Just both of them. The music to this is just great. Such a great combo. Another combo that you just... Nobody asked for, but now you need. Do you know what I mean? Now it's a necessity. What a combo. But yeah, Chris's voice too. Really is... Just special. Just special. The whole band sounds that way, no? Musically, yeah. Yeah, I'm two songs in on this album. I'm just, I'm sitting there thinking, I'm just gutted I wasn't kind of around. I probably was around. I would have been around, but too young to, do you know what I mean, be like following music like that. I was probably still into the Smurfs at this point. But, yeah. I just wish I was actually there to kind of the anticipation of this album. And then, yeah. But hold on, I need some more coffee. Two secs. Yeah, next one is Gasoline. And I also think I did this when Chris Cornell first started to come about on the channel but seeing how far I was off with showing me how to live <clears throat> I'm guessing I don't remember this one at all either but that name is familiar I might not have done this but yeah the name's familiar but anyway gasoline let's go
absolute banger. Another one that is literally free for free. Three for three, ten out of tens, without a doubt. I can't wait to finish this album and just have it in my life. Honestly, this is already from the first three. I mean, unless the album goes drastically downhill from here, but I know it don't because I'm the highways there like a stone. Um, but yeah, getaway car. I remember that one. Uh, yeah, but then again, I say that I remember the title. But yeah, I think as well, although I will say I've not done nowhere near the same amount as Rage Against the Machine as I have Chris Cornell, the various Chris Cornells. But I do think from the little I know of Rage Against the Machine and the a lot I know of Chris Cornell, I think they're walking a very good line between the two bands. I think that I don't really see how either a fan of Soundgarden or a fan of Rage wouldn't like it. You've got like the little tricks of Rage. Music's very funky, but very rocky. It's very funky like Rage is, because Rage obviously has more of a hip-hop thing in them, but you've kind of still got that, but it's, it's fit like... But then they rock too, Rage. But then, yeah... The like little, the like that effect that they had going right at the beginning that they're like, which I'm guessing he done on guitar because he's I'm sure it's him whose guitar like literally sometimes sounds like Dex, and even when he was going at one point he made his guitar sound like Chris Cornell in that I actually thought it was Chris starting singing but it was his solo but you've got that side of Rage the like the effects and the the rage trickery. But then you've just got the powerhouse of Chris. And the words are great. I'm burning that gasoline sung in... Yeah. It's just great. Just great. So far, this album's even better than I thought, to be fair. But yeah, What You Are is this next one. What You Are. Now, this one I definitely don't know. But yeah, let's go.
that feels like a perfect example of what we saw um, Tom Morello, I'm sure that's his name, Tom Morello, in the um, Musicians Talk About Chris Cornell video. But it's, yeah, I've said it a lot, but that's my favourite thing anyone's ever said about Chris, is what Tom Morello said, and that understanding the difference between the singers of Raid, which, like I say, is more hip-hop, um, to Chris, and that they had to kind of... They catered to Chris's vocal ability, basically. I think that is a perfect example of that. Nice, drawn-out things where you can just sit back and basically let Chris do his thing. Like That's what that felt like. Then you got like the... the he's a fire guitar player as well. Even if, like, say, he's, he's not doing, like, your typical stuff like a Joe Bonamassa would do, but the rhythm and all of that in his effect playing is great like he's a, a a super rhythm at least i think that's a rhythm guitar i'm not quite sure but yeah i think this is a perfect example of what tom morello said in that thing that when you have someone like a chris cornell you you, you create a yeah basically like a open plane type of thing for that voice to just run free and an off yeah i think that was and then when chris opens up on the chorus it's just yeah all right hold on two seconds all right yeah and we're finishing off with like a stone let's go
Do you know, yeah, that was not one of my, like, go... When I first started to do Chris reactions, to be fair, I had no context of any of it. And literally, people were just throwing me Chris in Temple of the Dog, Chris in Audio Save, Chris Solo, Chris Soundgarden, and you it's hard to kind of... But this was not one of the songs that, that kind of... It, in that initial mad flurry of Chris reactions, Like a Stone was not one I went back to initially. But the more time I have with that song, it just gets better and better to me. I love that song now. That Again, that is up there with one of my favourite Chris. Definite Chris vocal performances. I think his melody... Um, I mean, the words are great. I wait for you like a stone. It, it just it's so simple, but yeah, Chris is that is one of my favorite Chris. I mean, to be fair, there's a there's a hell of a lot of them, but yeah, yeah, absolute banger of a tune. And again, the uh, I'm not sure if it's Tom Morello on guitar, but whoever the guitar player is, really his ability, all of the like effect solos that he does a super rhythm based super melodic still and I think they're just a great um, they just play off so nicely off of Chris Chris's vocals yeah that's such a banger of a tune that's such a banger of a tune but yeah, that's part one. Uh, so far. Yeah, this is a great album. Great album so far. Bangers. Show me how to live now, I think. I think just because I kind of had an idea or I thought I had an idea of what that song was and was completely wrong. Yeah. But gas, yeah, they're all bangers on here, to be fair. Yeah, so far, this is a great album, and I can't wait to finish it, just so I can have it in my life. But yeah, that's part one. Sweet.